Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Christine and in today's video, um, I'm gonna share with you my kind of journey in trying to conceive. I know this is such a different topic compared to what I um, normally upload here on YouTube, but I just feel like um, this could help you know other women because my viewers are normally, or maybe most of my viewers are women. I will make a disclaimer. I I mean, my journey could be different from yours. Um, every woman's body is different. So this is just like um, a video and trying to give you more information if you need it. Also, I've got some couple realizations in trying to conceive before we jump into the video. I'm gonna share with you a little bit of those. Um, so first thing I've realized that having a baby is you know it's really God given like it's not up to you it's not up to you to make a baby because it's God who gives life and and no matter what we do it's really up to God but of course God gives us instruments um, give us information in things that we can do to have a baby so this is the notebook that I'm going to show you in my journey of trying to conceive and before we jump into this, I want to give you guys like a bit of a story why it led me to this one. So first about my marriage, um, right now it's almost been four years since I got married and the third year of our marriage, I, I mean that's when we decided to have a baby. So I stopped taking pills around September. And so that's like officially the month that we tried to have a baby and you know what I feel like I really thought I really thought that oh because I stopped pills I'm gonna have a baby right away so like that's what is on my mind but that wasn't the case as months went by and I still didn't conceive and I keep on getting negatives I kind of um, have this overthink no I didn't overthink I'm just starting to think like is there something wrong with me or is there something wrong with my partner because we don't have a baby yet because yeah that's really how I expected it to be I really thought that once you want to try to have a baby that that's it you're gonna have a baby but that's not it it's really God who gives you the baby that's the reason why I resorted to um, trying to, con to conceive by tracking the ovulation so I'm just thankful that we have this type of what do you call it type of way or method in trying to conceive because it just makes us easier and now I realize that with the past six months that I didn't have a baby it was it was not because there's a problem between me and my partner it's because I wasn't ovulating at that time we're trying to conceive because I was like okay I shouldn't you know in my mind I was like I shouldn't try these methods to conceive I should do it naturally but sometimes it doesn't work like that sometimes you really need a boost you really you know there's no more guessing before I try these um, tests or like ovulation tests I was using an app and I don't think it was working for me. I mean, obviously it did not work for me because I didn't have a baby using that app. And yeah, ovulation is really something you need to track or you need to know if you're really actively trying to conceive. I bought this online on Amazon, this ovulation pregnancy combo kit, test strips for LHS search or LH search. I don't know, OPK test Pregnate. So the brand is Pregnate and it's got heaps of like ovulation tests. So my partner did not know that I was using this method and I am so blessed that it's only like one try that we used that, that I have used this method and then now we have a baby, which is yay. So excuse my um, setup here, but um, this is the whole thing that I did. So um, this kind of layout of the notebook is actually 
um like available in someone else's youtube channel um i'm gonna try to link it down below if you don't want to hassle yourself with doing all this but i don't have don't really want to spend money in buying those types of notebooks so i kind of rewrote it myself so what i did so first is i wrote like cycle one here and then um i put the start date so i started last march 7 2021 so the march 7 2021 is the very first day of my period so you start with your first day of period and then i put the cycle day so one two three four five six seven eight twenty three and um i'm not i'm not really that regular so i kind of extended it up to here um day 31 um some women do 28 or even longer than that but yeah i did did up to 45 days as a cycle date because i kind of have an idea already that i'm not really 28 day period kind of um woman so some women are regular some are irregular so on my first cycle i put it until 45 so you can put as long as you want um and then next would be the date so i started with seven because it's from march 7 8 9 10 11 12 and, and then all that and then i also put the time you don't know um just to keep track of what time you're doing the tests and i have here um this column the lh test strip where i've pasted all the um strips like you know the results and all that um i'm gonna dig into deeper to these ones later on so i'm just introducing you the layout of the video i mean of this um method and then lhp um this is just an indicator if if it's low high or positive so as you can see there's l h l h and there's p and then i also put here another column for um period or or sex so that's all that so this is the part of tracking ovulation now on this side here this is the part where i was tracking if i'm pregnant or what using the pregnancy test kit or the hcg test strip so this is the strip that um, actually tests your hormone the hcg i also wrote here the cycle date a uh, cycle day and then the date the time but i did put here dpo which means days past ovulation of course the column for the test strip and then also the um status so negative or positive from march 7 i had my first period so i just put p there because i'm having period and march 8 and 9 i still also have period so i put p p p so it's like i had a three day period so and i also also put a heart if we had um sex or not so for the third this is already <laughs> kind of embarrassing but um you know it happens and it's already like very low flow it's almost nothing at all it's so weird to share it on the internet but you know that's the reality when you're married um also i started the test on my cycle day 10 many it really just depends on you um i did start on 10 you can start a little bit probably like seven eight something depending on when you really stop had your stopped having your period so i kind of waited a bit before i did the test so what from day one to day nine it's actually just one line for each because I did not need to 
take two tests so i've been doing two tests as you can see in cycle day 10 there's morning and evening and then 11 morning and evening test 12 morning and evening test just to really make sure on you know to figure out if i'm really ovulating or not because i wasn't sure this is my very first time so i did test on my cycle day 10 um, on march 16 7 48 a.m i tested and it's negative as you can see it's really faint line i did put low um not really negative i just put low and then day on 11th in the morning still negative um because you can see there are two lines here and this is the control line and then this really if the line gets as the color of this line gets as deep as the next one then that would mean positive but as you can see in my cycle day 11 it's still not really it but it's kind of deep as you can see but um yeah i didn't put indication it seems like it's high so i just put it high i thought i'm already ovulating here so i kind of like okay let's have sex now because um because I might that might be an indication that I am ovulating so I kind of went on um it was as you can see it seems like it's unclear to me because this side it seems to be like slightly kind of same color but not really it so I still put um yeah I still tried to make a baby like had sex here because this is my cycle day 14 and i really thought before that you know i might be um doing having 28 day cycle so for women who has 28 day cycle they normally would have their ovulation in the middle of the month or like around this time as you can see on my cycle day 16 it's even very low here as you can see it's not even like showing so i just put low here as well and then that day 17 18 19 now there this is when i got really excited it's when it started on the day 21 because it seems like um the color is building up here so i did put high here you know what um do not like completely base it on this because somehow the colors have been faded with time and all that so just base it on my indication so i did put high here i must have seen that the color um indicator really changed a lot and then on my cycle day 22 it's really like same color already I did put high and did like had sex at that time and then day 23 as you can see it even shows that this is way deeper compared to the control line here control test um line so i did put positive and positive that i'm already ovulating on this cycle day 22 and 23 so i did put high positive positive and also really tried to have a baby um, at those um, period. So this is the time. So after you ovulate, when you see that you seem to be ovulating, it takes like a couple of days, 24 hours, a um, couple of days, you know, to conceive or to have a baby. So we did try to make a baby there and cycle day 24. My... Um, the test result is still positive it's still really red i mean not red yeah i think it was red at the time um yeah so i it's still p and then on the cycle day 24 on the night time that's when it started to fade so that means um it's really slowly fading i'm not ovulating anymore and even on day 26 um cycle day 26 it's still low already and i kind of stopped there because i feel like there was no need 
um i just thought maybe um i'm that that was it already so now let's move on to me when i was doing the pregnancy test this is the exciting part because this is really it like makes you think like oh did I, was i able to make a baby at this time so i did start doing the pregnancy test on nine days past ovulation so i kind of assumed i think that i ovulated on this um cycle day 23 so on march 29 because i was i wrote there positive so from there on from that date we count one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's nine days past ovulation it was negative normally i think i've read as well that after you conceived um it would take like around 10 at least 10 days for the hcg to really show if you're pregnant or what but still i wanted to be early i started on the 9th and then after 10 days past ovulation that was still negative so i was like oh my my i might be not pregnant i didn't feel anything at all so yeah so i put negative um i even stopped on um 11 days past ovulation taking the test because it was somehow like oh i'm getting negatives and negatives so you know i didn't want to kind of disappoint myself with putting negative here but then on the 12th day past ovulation i kind of have a really really thin line i'm not sure if it's really showing in the camera but there's a really tiny hint of line um it's my baby telling me that i might be pregnant but at this time i didn't want to assume i even didn't put p here yet so this was added later on because i don't want to assume that i was pregnant already so that was um april 10 already so on april 10 that's when i got my very first hint of line that i might be pregnant and then as you can see as time goes on as day goes by it is becoming real like the red is you know the the test line and the control line as you can see here on day 16 i don't know on cycle day 41 oh yeah 16th of march uh 16 of april that's when yeah it's really really huge positive for me because the test line is even deeper compared to the controlled line yeah that was my journey it's so positive so um i do hope that this would enlighten you and kind of helped you in a way in figuring out and tracking your ovulation my journey could be different to yours but i do hope this gives you an idea and help as well in trying to get pregnant um yeah and i'm just very thankful i did this otherwise if i didn't take if i didn't do this test i would be um you know probably still guessing when my ovulation is and still still not being able to have a baby well these test kits i forgot these are just lh test strips so luteinizing hormone test so it does not really mean um that you are going to ovulate because some women or some you know have problems with this hormone or something like that so it's just that through studies um women produce more of this hormone when we are about to ovulate so this is just a guide so your case could also be different from other people's case so i hope that helps guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit a like and i'll see you next time bye